So now we're ready to stain and glaze our fully centered restoration and I want to speak quickly to uh, a few things regarding the InSync glaze paste material. So this is a brand new jar. When you first get the jar of material you'll notice that when you open it there's going to be some freestanding liquid on top of the jar. So just that we are all on the same page, um, the liquid that you see is a medium which is holding the powder, the glaze, actual glaze powder in suspension. So this is typical of, of how the material will settle out. Uh, and uh, when you open a brand new jar, this is what you will uh, usually see. You, you definitely do not want to pour that freestanding liquid that you see on the surface there off. This material has been formulated to have a, a very ideal consistency so that it goes on very, very smoothly and at the same time won't puddle or drip or run and, and fill up your pits and fissures on the occlusal. So it's a very delicate balance between the, the, the uh, liquid and the glaze paste itself. So what we want to do is take an instrument and very, very thoroughly reincorporate the stain or sorry the uh, glaze paste into the liquid and you can see as you start to mix it very very dry underneath all the liquid is sitting on the top and uh, we just have a very dry uh, paste sitting underneath it so we're going to want to make sure we fully incorporate all of that together so after about two minutes of thoroughly mixing we can see the consistency of the paste should be able to dip an instrument in and it, it pulls, doesn't run off. Uh, no freestanding liquid inside anymore. No dry material at the bottom of the jar. And now the material has reached its optimal consistency and we're ready to go ahead and uh, apply this to the restoration. And I would stir, uh, whenever I open up and start the day, I, I open up the jar for the first time. I thoroughly mix it, probably takes about 30 seconds once you've actually uh, done it when you open up a brand new jar. Every day I open it up for the first time I mix it and then maybe again after lunch I mix it again. So this maintains the optimal consistency of the glaze and gives you that perfect result that you're looking for every time.